Hi guys, if you're watching this then you're curious about migraines. Maybe you suffer from them and are looking for ways to relieve the problem. They're the most common neurological condition in the developed world and they affect more people than asthma, epilepsy and diabetes combined. So when you consider that 15% of all men and women suffer from migraines globally and around 6 million people in the UK have migraines, they're one of the most common causes of chronic pain and go way beyond your average headache. In fact, people don't tend to take them very seriously unless they suffered from them personally. Some of the symptoms like weird visual disturbances and tingling in the lips and fingers can be debilitating, causing intense pain, nausea and a real dent in productivity, causing people on average to lose about four days a year of work. I'll be covering the various kinds of migraine headaches in more detail along with things like triggers and so on in other videos, but wanted to talk to anyone who already suffered from them as there have been potentially game-changing development that recently came out of America. But before we get to that, let's start with some history. The word migraine comes from the Greek hemicrania and means half-headed because of the stabbing or pulsating pain that is frequently experienced on one side of the head. Migraines date as far back as 4,000 years ago and are even referred to in the biblical texts. 50% of migraine sufferers don't see their doctor about them. So as always, if you suspect that you're getting migraines, please go to your doctor to discuss further. But in the last couple of weeks, a new interventional study has emerged that provides pretty compelling evidence that the correct diet could help relieve some people who experience these attacks frequently. Now, I know you've probably heard how diet can help and you've tried everything, but what marked that this clinical trial is particularly interesting is just how dramatically it reduced the number and severity of headaches. It found a diet high in omega-3 was associated with two fewer headaches per month and a diet high in omega-3 and low in omega-6 cut monthly migraine days by four. So what was the diet? Fish. Sponsored by the National Institute of Health, the trial was designed to test whether a special diet could alleviate the participants' headaches. The diet that was once assigned to follow favoured foods that contained high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, the oils found in some fish, while limiting foods that are rich in sources of omega-6 fatty acids, such as many vegetable oils. Now, what's exciting about the results of this trial is people who suffer with migraine follow really restrictive diets in an attempt to get some relief. But honestly, there's not much evidence to suggest any of these actually do any good. But now there's one solid diet that can be recommended. If you want to try this diet, the easiest way is up your omega-3 intake is to eat more fatty fish. That includes sardines, mackerel, salmon, anchovies, tuna and trout. Tin versions are fine, but try to keep it as fresh as possible. If you're vegan, plant sources of omega-3 fats are ground flax seeds, walnut and chia seeds. So that's the good news. But the bad news is the clinical trial revealed that all the benefits this fish heavy diet can provide, there's a caveat. You should avoid fried, processed and fast foods, which are usually made with oil that are low in omega-3s and high in omega-6. That's about it for now, guys. I hope this has been really helpful to start discussing the condition and we'll be returning to it in more detail. As always, consult your doctor or healthcare professional about migraines and any concerns you may have and whether this omega-3-rich diet could be right for you. See you next time.